Tonight on Why is the Introduction Some Lights? I don't know. We're going to be talking about aliens. We've got a couple people Let's here go. who have supposedly seen aliens themselves. Tonight, we hear their stories. experience with the aliens and does not wish to reveal his identity and that's why he's blurred out and his voice has been altered so people may not identify him. On June 14th, 2016, I was abducted by aliens. They put me on the surgical table. They probed me, and they also cut off from my ball. Which ball could they remove from your body? My right ball is removed, so I can study the human reproductive system. And then they stored it in a jar and threw me off in a cornfield. And uh, how did your uh, family react when you were returned with a uh, missing testicle? I didn't say anything to them. So you've kept this buried down for years? Yes. And what, what made you finally decide to uh, come forth with this information? It was holding me down. I couldn't stand. It was keeping a secret. So, and that's why your face is blurred out and your voice has been altered to keep you a secret. Yes. You also uh, told us that to uh, keep your wife from questioning things, you replaced that testicle with a, uh, a ping pong ball. I replaced it with a ping pong ball with a. Yes, it's right here. Uh, fastened, yeah, fastened with hot glue. Yeah. And she, uh,. Didn't notice? No, I measured my other testicle and then made it same way. Perfect balance. And same size. So, uh, I also banged your wife, by the way. They're gonna die. And now, a message from our sponsor. What's up? I'm Smoking Sammy! And I like smoking cigarettes. Do you know that people who smoke cigarettes actually get less cancer than people that don't? And when you smoke cigarettes, you're cool as fuck. So, if, if, it, if, if you want my opinion on it, light up a cigarette, or light up two, or four, or eight. Whatever you can do. Fuck that. Fuck the limit. Do it! Welcome back to the extraterrestrial special of... Why is the intro lights? I don't know. Next up, we have Dick. Dick asshole dude guy. What up? I'm Dick asshole dude guy. You know, I fucks with aliens hard. You know, I go out and I try to hunt down aliens sometimes. And this one time, I was at my buddy uh, Bill Throuber's house. We were just like throbbing it up. And all of a sudden, just whoosh! And like the whole night sky, like it was like probably like midnight, two thirty in the morning, just you know raging. And like the whole night sky was just like just bright. So we're like, oh shit! So we run outside to this field, right? Like they grow shit in this field, but like nothing was growing because it was like winter. But, like, we run out there, and, like, 
the whole field is on one, like, not the whole field, but, like, the middle of the field was, like, on fire. So we run to this fire, like, oh, shit, there's gonna be aliens. But we get to the fire, and it's just, like, some hillbilly fuck, like, fucking, like, his cousin or some shit by, like, this big bonfire. But we are like, hey, did you see, like, the sky? And they're like, no, we've been looking at each other. But we're like, dude, look at the sky. And they're like, oh, shit. Why is it daytime? And we're like, it's not daytime. It's like 2.30 in the morning, man. So, like, they're freaking out. We're freaking out. And we're like, where the fuck are these aliens? But then... We look for the aliens and we can't even find them. So like, we just give up because our buzz was running low. So we go back to Throb's house and our buddy Polly D was supposed to be there because like, he can chug so much vodka. Like, you've never seen anybody drink so much vodka more than Polly D. Polly D is a monster. But Polly D's not there, and all the vodka's still there. So that means Polly D should still be there, because where there's vodka, there's Polly D, you know? So we're looking around for Polly D, and we go to the backyard, and there's Polly D just kind of standing there, like zoned out. And it's weird, because Polly D, as much as he drinks, he doesn't really like smoke or anything like that. So we were like, why is Polly D all spaced out? So we go to him and we're like, Polly D, why are you all spaced out? And he looks at us and he goes, Space, man. I was just there. And we're like, dude, we were looking for aliens, but the aliens found Polly D. And that's just wild, man. Believe it or not, we were actually able to contact the hillbilly that Dick McAsshole dude guy ran into on that night. And this is his side of the tale. I'm Jason and I had my pepper touched by my pepper gardener. He touches all my peppers and my pepper plants. He's real nice. <laughs> Also, this one time, I met this pretty girl, I took her out to the field one night, we had a fire, and then we made love, and then this weird guy came up talking about some aliens, and then it was daytime, I didn't know what was going on! <laughs> So far, we've had a man abducted and his reproductive organs removed and studied. A college group once abducted and twice partied, along with the man that they encountered that night in that lonesome field. But you will not believe our final story on the alien special of Why is the Intro Lights? I don't know. to us tonight about, you know, the aliens. Aliens? Yeah, you, uh, you emailed us and said you, you wanted to come on our talk show and talk about the time that you thought you saw aliens, or you had a story for us to tell. Oh, I thought you meant, uh, salience, like uh, them people that, uh, drink saline water. Now, I ain't never heard nothing about no aliens, but, uh, my friend George, he, he's kind of tall and skinny. Some people say he looks like an alien, and... You know, uh, sometimes when I walk into his house, he's, like, talking into this, like, weird, like, round thing. It kind of, it kind of glows. But, but uh, you, you, you and Margaret talked extensively of, about now, can the, I, the can show I finish, and you talking and... Can I finish and, talking about George? Because I, I, I think he very may well be a goddamn alien. So this is your story? This... Can you let me finish? This is, this is what... I'll you, get to it. This is... 
Uh, I'll get to right. it. <laughs> so every to once it. in a while, if like you go to George's trailer and like you haven't told him that you were coming by, you might walk into him and talking to this weird orb. It's kind of like an orb and a square at the same time, and it kind of has a glow to it, like a bluish pinkish glow. And he's kind of talking like, yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, most people would just uh, refer that over to uh, his habit of, you know, uh, rolling the bubble, if you know what I mean, the, the crystal meth that's real rampant in our park. But, I mean, he's he's a real tall, skinny guy, like I said, kind of gray skin, which a lot of people will attribute that to the uh, methamphetamines and staying out of the sunlight. But I think uh, staying out of the sunlight might be a... Uh, Part of his traits as well. He's got some pretty big old peepers. And they they turn black sometimes. And like if you point it out, he gets real scared like and runs back into his trailer and he comes back and they're uh, they're normal again. So I don't think that's anything too suspicious. Everybody has some weird eyeballs sometimes. But I mean the the, the orb thing and how his car it kinda it floats. People haven't really figured that out. He says that uh, it's like one of them new Teslas. You know, them electronic cars. And I think those ones float, don't they? Isn't that what electricity does to a car? So so I think that's normal too. Right? Right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah there's they're George. And then, uh, there was this one time Margaret and I, well, I was sleeping one night, and I heard this weird noise, and Margaret just kind of started floating out of the bed. Well, she just kind of floated right out the window. So, uh, after Margaret floated out the window, like, all real, like, slow-like, you know, I, I of course, uh, followed her out there, because, you know, so I run out there, and there, there's George standing by my floating wife. And I, I see George, and he's kind of kind of moving my floating wife around. <laughs> kind of like that Harry Potter Star Wars shit. So he's moving around towards his, like, electronic Tesla car. And I say, George, what in the god fuck are you doing? And he goes, yuck, buck. And uh, Margaret just kind of snaps out of it, and she ain't floating no more. And George kind of just scurries off in his, his floating car. And uh, ever since then, my wife just really hasn't been the same since she floated out that window. All right, and that was Daniel Cummings, who was apparently weird, a lunatic. Weird shit happens in my trailer park. I guess so, cars. yeah. And meth will do that to you, I guess, folks. Tesla cars and shit. Yep. Like, yep. Who lives in a trailer park and has a Tesla?